Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an episode of career mode again We're back and uh, we're still in the transfer window actually uh, we still got a few transfers to make you know last time we took a look and uh, we took a look at one of the um, Goalkeepers from Stuttgart, but I actually decided to simulate this game now It's very rare that I'll simulate a um, Premier League game especially because um, you know it is against Norwich But one again it was at home and I always feel com much more comfortable Simulating games at home and two in the middle of a transfer window, you know, you're just so focused on the transfer window you want to hit that advance button to see what happens next and you know when you're just caught up in the moment You just really can't be bothered playing a game that was very much my case But fortunately we managed to pick up three points against Norwich as Borini comes on to score Which was uh, really exciting and good to see I put in a bid for Alexandro the left back um, uh, I spoke about him last episode quite a bit, you know 77 overall and he looks like he could become a bit of an animal So for that reason, you know, they weren't necessarily interested in the player So for that reason I actually uh, put in a different player again. He, uh, Kelly is a right back back I think or right back or left back um, and whenever they say they're not interested in, a, in the player it's not necessarily the player they're not interested in and most of the time it's the position in which um, the player you're giving them and I kind of made the error of just giving them another you know fullback and uh, it really wasn't what they were looking for essentially so I, I kind of expected them to come back to me and be like you know what that's just a complete waste why would you why would you send that you know um, and uh, like I said you know Ulrich there um, manages to uh, accept well, he doesn't accept, but his club, Stuttgart, accepts the offer, which is fantastic. Really happy to hear that. And as you can see, he wants a three-year deal on 45000 a week, which is really quite good. That is so much cheaper than what I had at Confivon. He was on, I think, 70000 75000 something like that, which is just absolutely absurd. And it was important we sorted this situation out because, like I said, guys, even against Norwich, I didn't have a proper keeper. So um, to pick up a 1-0, I suppose, is quite a, quite a good advantage. Um, and like I was saying, you know... Um, we do need a keeper ASAP and we need to sort that situation out. So welcome Ulrich. I probably butchered his name every time I've said it But um, it, in the off chance that I've said it properly. Well, then that's just completely awesome So uh, yeah, I've managed to sort out my goalkeeper situation now It was just down to getting a proper left back and uh, hopefully not any more players um, Leaving the club because that is a bit of a letdown really. Um, I don't really know what I was thinking here um, I was like, I'll just keep Kelly in for the sake of it And then it, it just didn't make sense to do that. So I ended up taking him out, removing him, you just simply press X to remove him. Um, it actually, the first time that happened um, where I wanted to actually remove um, the player, like any sort of player involved in the deal, I spent ages trying to figure out how to do it, but in the end, it was actually really easy that you just pre press X um, or square, I'd imagine, on the PS3. Anyways, I had a cup game coming up, and uh, with this particular cup game, again, right in the middle of the transfer uh, window, I wasn't necessarily too keen on playing the actual game. But as you guys can see, finally, my Sandro bid was accepted, accepted for just over 8 million and uh, he was hoping for 35,000 a week on a four-year deal which is again really good you know I'm more than happy to pay that um, as long as it up isn't up in the 60,000s you know for a player who's only 77 overall um, I'm more than happy to take that sort of risk and even at a 77 overall I still think that 35,000 is quite a lot of money but uh, I think it'll all turn out worth it'll all be worth it in the end so as you guys can see, I had this game here, and then I also had a game against Arsenal later on on the 29th. So, uh, both games are really key, but for the game on Saturday, you know, I need to make sure I have players that are fit to play. And uh, in order for me to do that, I have to make sure that I don't play all my best players of, on this um, simulated game that I'm going to do. And as you guys can see, Alexandro there accepts my offer, which is just absolutely magnificent. We've now sorted out that left-back position. We've also sorted out the goalkeeper dilemma, and let's hope that it just turns out a whole lot better. I really hope will reach there is actually a solid goalkeeper I really think he'll be great I'm excited to see how he does and uh, let's just hope he's better than Akinfeev because although I enjoyed Akinfeev at times at times he was just dreadful and he let in some seriously shocking goals so I know you guys didn't get to see Akinfeev for too long and I do apologize for that but uh, it was more of those things when it whenever I whenever he conceded one of those really p roller type goals I just got so irritated anyway second on the inbox list as you guys can see is the international management offer from Colombia. Now, Colombia have some absolutely unreal players. You know, you got the likes of Martinez, most notably Falcao, and um, Rodriguez as well. I believe Muriel is also from Colombia. We all know if you, well, I don't want to say we all know because I'm sure some of you guys are relatively new to my career mode series, but to anyone who has been watching way back in the QPR days, you guys will definitely remember the likes of um, Muriel who turned from, I believe he was a 78 rated player all the way up 
to uh, close to the 90s, and that is just immense, you know. That if there was one player I had the most fun using, it was definitely him. So, uh, for some reason, I stayed on this screen for a very long time, but I'm sure it was necessary because that gameplay is most certainly entertaining. I mean, just look at that ticker in the bottom, go ham. <laughs> I honestly have no idea why I stood here. Probably went to go grab myself a cup of tea or something like that, but uh, like I said, very much necessary. So, you know, with the Columbia bid that came in, um, well, not the bid, I don't want to say bid, the offer that came in, I was very tempted to do it. You know, I haven't been keen on the old international side of things recently, but uh, Columbia, they've just, like I was saying, you know, I've just listed off a few of their players that they have. They have some absolutely quality players, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to miss up an opportunity like Columbia. I mean, they are just such an awesome, awesome side, and uh, I feel as though I almost have to, and I think it'd be a really interesting adventure as well. Um, an adventure I kind of want to go on. I really want to see what the likes of Falcao are in career mode. Same with the Martinez. Do I want to pick up someone like Marti Martinez? And uh, I had to take quite a long think about it, you know. Did I actually want to go with a team like this? Do I even want to venture into the international side of things? But as you guys can see, I ended up accepting the offer. And they it gave me a little nice welcome message saying, glad to have you on board. And uh, I'm excited to see the games, to play the game, see what happens with Colombia. I think I can do well. I hope I can do well. But uh, in, most importantly, first, we have an FA Cup game against Preston at home again. A lot, uh, you, you'll tend to see a lot of the simulated games I do tend to be at home. Just because at home, you have a much higher chance of winning. The amount of upsets I've had when you've played, when I've uh, simulated away has just been incredible. But uh, some a lot of action going down early on. As you can see, um, Alan managed to pick up the first goal. And then, um, what do you Call it. Obama Yang actually missed his penalty. Then quickly after, Lucas Lieva was given a red card. Then Downing scored, and then they got a penalty. But late on into the game, um, President Obama fixes for his early missed penalty, and he scores later on in the game to make that a 3-1 victory for the boys. Very happy with that. You know, a good result, and uh, we move, we progress in the FA Cup, and that's what's important. And uh, you know, in honesty. The team at the moment, it looks solid. Uh, like I said, I still needed to change around the team a little bit with the new transfers and things. They weren't actually playing in that game, I don't think. Um, but as you can see, the player was suspended, which means Lucas Lieva will have to miss out on the next game. And that'll be a little bit um, disappointing, but we do have the likes of Envia, who is more than capable to fill into that spot for sure. No doubt about it. But, you know, a red card's a red card, and that's the sort of thing, that's the sort of risk you take when you simulate games. Um, SAAD there, back from injury. Of course, I won't play him in the first game back because that is just a really silly thing to do um and there, uh, reportedly i said that there was no need for the sending off but yeah um kelly really happy with the chances he's getting um you know the game time he's getting at the uh, the team and uh, that's gonna kind of be cut short with the new sandro coming in so i kind of feel a little bit bad for him their olympic leon their 8.5 million bid comes in and in honesty that's a that's a pretty hefty bid for a player that i don't tend to play out in the field too often so i sent them back a counter offer which i personally think is relatively reasonable um and the reason why i actually counter offered and I didn't just flat, flat out reject it is because I, he's not going to become a starting player for me anytime soon although I've heard he does do very well the more you play him unfortunately he's just not in my plans at the moment so uh, there was no harm in you know counter offering for about 13 and a bit million um, to see if he would uh, he would be interested in Leon but until then guys I'll see you all in a little bit I hope you all have a cracking day bye bye